So if you've got a PDF like the one I've got open here and you want to convert that into Word so that you can edit it, make changes and potentially save it back to the PDF. Now this could be because you've lost the original Word document or you've got one that you never had the original document and you want to make a change. So I'm doing this on a Mac. I do have a separate tutorial for doing this on Windows but there's quite a bit of similarity here. And I'm going to show you a couple of ways that you can do this for free and also some that you might actually have to pay for as well. So here's my PDF and I've opened it in Adobe Reader. Now Adobe Reader is free, it's available from adobe.com. Adobe are the people that created the whole PDFs, Acrobat documents, and that's a good place to go and we'll take a look at that in a moment. So here it is and what I want to be able to do is take it and put it into Word. So first thing I'm going to do is just look at taking any images like this logo here. If I click on it, you can see it selects it. I can now either right click and copy the image or I can go into edit and choose copy from here or use the keyboard shortcuts. So I'm just going to choose copy from here. I am now going to open Word of which I've already got it open down here so I'm just going to open that so now if I paste, and I can paste just by going into Edit and Paste or using the shortcuts or the right mouse click. So you can see it's brought the image over rather easily. So how about the text? Well, I'm just going to go back to my document and for that what I can do is I can simply highlight my text like this or the bit of text that I want and I can go again into Edit, Copy or again use the right mouse click. However, if I wanted all of the text in there, I could go into Edit, Select All, or could do that Command A. That selects everything. Now I can go Edit and Copy. I'm just going to paste it into Word. Now, the thing about taking text from one system and putting it into another is it might not always work very well. So I'm just going to right click and choose Paste. And in this instance, this document has not copied it over well at all. So you can see on this one it hasn't worked very well. It's putting each word on a separate line. I could go through and fix it, but actually that can be rather tedious. And sometimes this does work out well. However, things like tables, images and so on, they may not come across very well. Anything a bit unusual. However, that's one option. So I'm just going to undo that because that's not how I'm going to do it on this one. But let me just go back to here, back into my Adobe Reader because there's also a way you can export this as well. So if I go into Tools, and this is quite a reliable way of doing it. So if I click on Tools here, you'll see I get this panel here. If it's not showing everything, it's just got Export PDF here. You can just click on that to open it. Now you can choose the file, which it's already done, and you can tell it whether you want it in docx, which is the more recent versions of Word files. You can choose .doc, which is good for 97 to 2003 formats. RTF, which is doesn't have all the features that you would have in Word or into Excel. So I'm just going to choose this version here. But when I choose Convert, you've got to sign up to use it. And I have to say, it's quite reasonable for a whole year. I just had a look on the UK website, £15.62, which isn't bad. So if you had to do quite a few of these, I would say that was quite a good option. However, there are other options. And I'm going to close my Adobe Reader here, because the other option is if you're using a Mac, is to use Preview, which is built in. So I'm just going to double click and it's going to open it up in Preview. You can see it's in Preview here. Again, you can just highlight the text and things. You'll see that in this one, I couldn't select the images. So in this instance, I'm just going to highlight it all. I could have gone into Edit, chosen Select All, and that would have included the image as well. You'll have noticed that in Adobe Reader, when I did Select All, it didn't select the image. So a little bit different, but if I go edit, copy, and now let's go back to my Word document here, you'll see that if I paste it in, and I'm just gonna do that with a right mouse click, you'll see it's pasted all of it in. And do you know what? It's done a better job than copying it from the Adobe Reader. The Adobe Reader can be good for getting the images, but for the text, look at that, that that's pretty much doesn't need anything done to it. There's a little bit of extra spacing here in this numbered list, or it might happen in bullet points as well, but actually that's not really that much of a deal. So that's a good free option. Use Preview, copy it, you can highlight to copy it, you can use Select All and put it into here.
So there is another option as well, and that is to use Adobe Acrobat Pro. And I've got the latest one already installed. You can get it as a trial. Now you can get that for 30 days off the website. So if you know you've just got a one-off thing to do, you could do it. So here we go. This is the adobe.com website. If you go to download here, you can get product trials. And if I go there to product trials, you'll see it's got Acrobat 11 Pro. Acrobat is what is used to make the PDFs, but you can also use it to extract them as well. And there is a try, so you can try it out. You just need to put in an email address and a password by setting up a little account, and you will get that. And I have to say, they don't send you loads of emails hassling you or anything. And you've got 30 days, so if you know you just need it now, you could potentially do that. I mentioned before the Adobe Reader. Again, that's in download here. There's Adobe Reader, it is free always worthwhile having anyway, if just for reading documents. But I have to say Preview did a better job of actually bringing things over. So let me just close that because I don't need that open right now. So I've got Word here and over here is my PDF. So what I'm going to do on this occasion, I'm just going to right click, I'm going to choose Open With and choose Acrobat Pro. It's that version 11 there on mine. You probably wouldn't have to. So I'm just going to say no to it being the default. And here it is. It looks very much like the reader. And you can see I can do the same sort of thing. I can copy from here as well. However, when I go into File, I can choose Save as Other. And you'll see it's got Microsoft Word here. And in here, I could actually choose Word Document or 97 to 2003. You can see I've got other options for spreadsheet, PowerPoint, image, even saving it as a web page. So what I'm going to do is go back up to here. I'm going to save it as a Word document. And you'll see it's already got the title in there as well. It's popping it on my desktop here. I could put it somewhere else. And it's saving it as a Word document. That's just great. And I hit Save. It's exported. You may have seen a bit of information flashing up down here showing it was ex being exported. If it's a particularly large document, you might find that that shows you all the pages, how they're progressing as they're being exported. And you can see here on my desktop now, I've now got this one here, which is a docx file. If I double click on that to open it in Word, look at that, perfect. And it's even done all this numbering just right over here. So there you have it. That's how you can take text and images from a PDF and put it into Word for editing.